Rawhide good or bad for your dog? Rawhide chews are a popular treat for dogs. You may have heard that rawhide is good for your dog's teeth and helps with the natural instinct to chew. But are there any disadvantages to giving your dog rawhide treats? Are there other alternatives that work just as well? Here's what you need to know. Rawhide treats come from the inner layer of cow or horse hide. During manufacture, the hides are cleaned and cut or ground. They are then pressed into chewable dog treats of different shapes and sizes. To make them more appealing to dogs, some raw leather treats contain meat, chicken or liver flavors. All dogs need to chew. It is a natural instinct. Some even spend hours chewing every day. Chewing can provide stimulation to your dog and help relieve anxiety. Especially with puppies, treats like raw leather bones can be a great substitute for your leather shoes and the legs of the dining room table. Chewing also keeps dogs' jaws strong, their teeth clean, and their breath a little fresher. Dogs who regularly chew raw leather and other bones or toys have less plaque and tartar buildup on their teeth. Given the amount of raw hide consumed by dogs each year, the risks are relatively small. Still, the risks can be serious, so don't ignore them. Weigh the risks and benefits of giving raw hide based on your dog's chewing needs and behaviors. These are the most common raw leather risks, contamination. As with pet toys, raw leather chews may contain traces of toxic chemicals. And, as with other pet, or human, foods, salmonella, ori, coli contamination is possible. Even humans can be at risk from coming into contact with these bacteria in raw leather treats, digestive irritation. Some dogs are simply sensitive or allergic to raw leather or other substances used in its manufacture. This can cause problems, including diarrhea, choking or blockages. Raw hide bones and other edible chews can pose a choking and blockage risk. In fact, this is a much greater risk than contamination or digestive irritation. If your dog swallows large pieces of raw leather, the raw leather can get stuck in the esophagus or other parts of the digestive tract. If you decide to offer raw leather to your dog, you can take certain precautions to make it safer. To minimize the risk of exposure to contaminants, wash your hands thoroughly after handling these treats. Have young children and family members with immune system problems avoid handling them. To protect your dog, ask your veterinarian about how much is safe to give your dog. The general rule of thumb is that the smaller the dog, the less chew. Especially in the beginning, give one at a time. Then wait a day to see how your dog's intestinal system responds, separate your dog from other pets so that he can relax while chewing. In this way, your dog will be less likely to swallow large pieces whole. Doing this can be especially important if you have a dog that is very territorial around food, offer different types of raw leather, but only when you can supervise and see how your dog is handling the treat. Are they swallowing large bites? Are they starting to choke or choke? If so, remove the treat and check with your vet about other types of raw hide or other types of treats or chew toys, Remove your dog's raw hide chew when it is small enough to swallow whole. If it is difficult to get your dog to give up the raw hide chew, try asking him to sit down and then offer another type of treat. Does your dog have a history of diarrhea or other digestive problems after chewing raw leather treats? Or does your dog tend to swallow large pieces of raw leather, putting them at risk of blockage? If so, try alternatives to keep their teeth clean and satisfy your dog's urge to chew. Talk to your veterinarian or pet shop dealer. Describe your pet's size, personality, and needs to find out what might work best. Sometimes a hard rubber chew works well, 